One of the most familiar and also one of the most beautiful psalms is the 23rd. I'd like for you to hear it now and then we'll go back over it and see just what it means. From the Bible, the 23rd Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now let's take this beautiful psalm sentence by sentence and see if we can really understand what the words mean. The Lord is my shepherd. This means that the Lord watches over each one of us like a shepherd does his sheep. We're like sheep too. We need to be led and the one to lead us in the right way is the Lord God. How wonderful to have him for our guiding, caring shepherd. I shall not want. This means I shall not be in want of any good thing. The Lord will provide for you and for me everything we need. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. What a pleasant, relaxing promise. When you think of lying down in some nice soft grass, you immediately relax and let go of all your cares. The Lord here promises us rest for our bodies. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Here the Lord guides us along paths of peace, the still, calm waters. He restoreth my soul. This means that the Lord fills our souls with his love and strength and Holy Spirit. If our soul is sick or tired, our mind and body will be sick and tired too. So in this beautiful 23rd Psalm, what a joy to know that God promises us that he will restore our souls. He will make them alive and filled with his wonderful love and Holy Spirit. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Here David tells us that the Lord will show us the right way to go. All we have to do, friends, is ask him. He wants to lead us along the paths that he knows are right for us. And then we will glorify him. He knows what's best for us. Let's ask him to lead us the way he wants us to go. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Here David shows his great faith in God. We too can and should have this kind of faith. No matter where we are, no matter how dangerous a place we may be in, even the valley of the shadow of death, we will not be afraid of anything. Why? Because God tells us he will be with us. With his rod and his staff, he comforts us. He keeps the evil away from us. He protects us and he actually enfolds us in his everlasting arms. Just think of that. Wherever we are, the Lord, the greatest power there is, is with us. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Here David tells us that even if we're surrounded by enemies, the Lord will provide for us. He'll take good care of us and give us all we need to eat and drink so that we may live for him. Thou anointest my head with oil. This is a soothing statement. You can just close your eyes and imagine someone putting oil on your head and softly and gently massaging your scalp. Mm -hmm. Makes you kind of purr like a kitten. 
And this is what God does for you and me and all of us. My cup runneth over. Now this means that the Lord pours so many blessings upon us that it's like he's filling our cup so full of good things that they fill the cup and continue to flow over the top. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now that we know that all these good things in the 23rd Psalm are ours because God loves each one of us so very much, we can be sure that as long as we live, he will be good to us. He will forgive us when we make a mistake if we're truly sorry and if we ask him to forgive us. And even more important than this, because the Lord loves us so much and wants us to have every good thing, he will see to it that each one of us who believe in him will live with him forever. We, you and I, friends, will live in the house of the Lord forever.